then how do we then move in to discuss dementia, demented cognitive states? So what is dementia? Because I know uh, in your book, you have five rules that can cut your risk of getting dementia by almost 50%. You mentioned the Chicago Health Study, which proved this with 2,500 people. Can you convince me <laughs> on why this is all amazing and not just BS? There are several parts to that that we can kind of we can kind of go through. So, first of all, it's worth mentioning. Uh, so, dementia, as your listeners will know, is is the uh, loss of cognitive function to the point where uh, you get a clinical diagnosis because you. Uh, are unable to sort of look after yourself on a day-to-day -day basis. Because people get still confused, like, oh, my grandmother died of dementia or was it Alzheimer's? It's like, well, let's let's confirm what dementia yeah. is. Yeah, so yeah. dementia is an umbrella term for that significant loss of, of cognitive function. And so there are many different types of dementia and Alzheimer's disease is the most common form. Um, the next most common form is, is vascular dementia. Alzheimer's makes up something like 50, 60, 70% of dementia cases, vascular dementia sort of 10, 20%, maybe a little bit more. And there's actually a huge amount of overlap. So most individuals who have Alzheimer's disease also have some evidence of vascular disease um, in their brain.